Uh, my name is Ben Rhodes, I'm the Watershed Manager with the Reston Association, and today we're talking about blue-green algae on Reston's lakes. So blue-green algae is also known as uh, cyanobacteria. It's a type of bacteria that photosynthesizes or makes its own food on the lakes just like green algae does, but it has the potential to produce toxins that are harmful for people and their pets. So blue-green algae can look like little um, bright blue or green flecks in the water. It can look like mats or scums in the water, or it can look like the whole uh, lake dyed a bright green. And folks should, if they see any of those indicators of blue-green algae, should uh, avoid the water and contact the Watershed Staff for Reston Association. You can contact us at watershed at reston.org. When Reston Association notices uh, blue-green algae on the lake that could be potentially harmful, we'll post notices on social media, but we'll also post signage. Those, that signage and those notices will always include the kinds of restrictions on activities uh, that can be done in the lake. Oftentimes, we'll still allow boating or fishing in the lakes uh, during a blue-green algae bloom, as long as you're not getting in contact with that water or you're rinsing off after coming in contact with the water. Uh, but if you are ever curious, just go to our social media or uh, look for that signage at Reston Association access points to the lake. So Reston Association protects our lakes and our members from the harm that blue-green algae can cause in a few ways. We monitor the lakes weekly uh, for um, presence of algae and for other indicators of algae blooms or, or their effects. And Reston Association during the summer also treats the lakes um, that are prone to blue-green algae blooms uh, monthly. Reston has a mosaic of watersheds that flow into all of our lakes and streams. Um, some of them are urban, suburban, um, each with their own characteristics. But all of them are contributing in one way or another different kinds of nutrients into our water bodies. And those nutrients are what fuel the algae blooms that we experience in Reston's lakes. Things that Restonians can do are having a watershed friendly lawn, minimizing fertilization, mulching grass clippings. Uh, more details can be found on the watershed page of the Reston Association website. So while blue-green algae can be harmful for people and their pets, Blue-green algae is part of the natural ecosystem of our lakes in balance with, with other organisms. What we have a problem with is the excessive nutrients in the watershed coming down into the lakes. This is typically seen when the water is nice and warm in the summer and then we have a big uh, summer storm come through washing a lot of those nutrients um, from the watershed um, and all of that polluted runoff into our streams all at once. And that polluted runoff hitting our warm lake will often cause um, a, a quick bloom of algae in the summer. If residents see or run into blue-green algae out on our lakes, they should get in touch with us. Uh, my email is watershed at reston.org. And if you're out on the lakes and you think you might have come in contact with blue-green algae, you start uh, having a rash or having um, other, other symptoms that you feel like might be connected with some contact with the lake or if, you're, if your pet is feeling unwell, um, you should contact your physician or veterinarian as, as soon as you can um, and, and let us know so that we can make sure that we have the appropriate warnings uh, posted if we don't already. To learn more about how you can have a watershed friendly lawn and landscape on your property, you can visit uh, reston.org. Um, the watershed page has lots of great details on uh, how you can be a more responsible steward of our watershed.